Okay, I'm out here in Cross Creek in Temecula, California, and I'm about to start my round. Um, nice golf course, it appears. A lot of oak trees and um, vineyards around the golf course, which is super nice. But um, I am gonna see what this golf course has to offer. It's measuring about 6,700 yards. So it should be a nice test of golf. <laughs> Okay, so I just walked off the green of number 10. And uh, yeah, I just made a par there, which is not a bad uh, play after my tee shot, which I pulled pretty significantly far left, actually into, into the weeds over there. So, but the nice thing was that I only had about 60 yards coming in. So I just kind of, I was in the middle of the dirt and the rocks, but I was able to get a wedge on it and hit it just short of the green and then chipped it up to about four feet. And then I drained the putt. Okay, we just teed off on hole number 11. Um, and I just hit a good tee shot. I kind of hit it off the heel a little bit, but um, it just produced kind of like a squeeze cut. And it wasn't exactly what I had uh, drawn up in my imagination, but it had a good result and ended up in the fairway. And that's the most important thing. So pretty happy about that. And uh, we'll drive up here. This hole is about 415 yards. So I should have a fairly short, uh, iron in if not wedge so we'll see it's just one of those courses too i don't know if it's a suspension in the golf cart or if there's just little gopher holes out there but it's literally like makes you feel like you're a bobblehead when you drive around on the fairways here so you just got to drive kind of slow but um i've been paying attention to my driver i should probably put my head cover back on so that thing doesn't get all scratched up when i drive around hit a little eight iron and I try to hit a little left to right shot but um, it, the ball does not want to cut as much on that downwind so um, it went pretty straight and I'm probably a little deep too if I had to guess a lot of the shots here are blind so you're hitting up hills or down hills or behind trees and you don't really know where your ball is till you get up to the green so Okay, so I'm on the tee box of uh, hole number 13 now. I'm um, just coming off back-to-back -back pars. 
they weren't too pretty. They were just kind of ho-hum. The on number 10, I missed the green, chipped up to about four feet, made the putt, and then I rounded to a hole number 11, and I just hit my second shot to about 30 feet, and then I two-putted from there. And so now I'm on hole number 12. It's a um, par three, measuring about 177 yards, and uh, I got... Middle of the green. Greens keeper after I hit a seven iron right there onto the middle of the green. So he sat there and chatted with me and told me that they've been spending a lot of time on, on the greens and uh, putting a lot of water into them and a lot of uh, care. So it, uh, it's showing out here. It looks pretty nice. So I just hit a uh, seven iron from 177. Hit it, you had it. You hit it, you had it. and smoke that one right on the middle of the club face that felt so good i think that's uh one of the biggest reasons right there why i love to play the game of golf there's no feeling like that golf ball coming off the middle of the club face and just sending one out there to the middle of the fairway exactly where you aim it's just like oh, i love that feeling I'm not gonna lie, they need to upgrade the carts out here. There's suspension on them. Sounds like I'm driving a little covered wagon or something. But uh, yeah, you guys got it. I'm just gonna try to hit the ball solid and find the putting surface. Well, that one felt good. Hit a high, it's drifting left to right. Oh, and I just nuked that one. I just said a nine iron over the green. Okay, so I'm on hole 13. I just set my second shot and I absolutely flushed it. Felt so good coming off the club face. And I just hit that one a little too good. And I'm over the back of the green. And I probably got a tricky little chip, but we won't know until we get up there. It's actually sitting up pretty decently, but there's a big tuft of grass behind the ball. So getting this to come out perfectly is gonna be difficult. But I would like to try to flip this up in the air because I don't have that much green to work with. So I think if I land it just a little short, hit like a little flopper and get it to just bounce on, that's going to be the play. Big bounce, big bounce, roll. Okay, so I didn't bounce all the way down. Tricky little putt down the hill here. The left to rider, straight downhill. On the left edge and try to trickle it down. Stay up. Mm.
whole time I've been complaining about them being slow in front of me, but the whole time they've been waiting kind of for some in front of them. So I just drove up here and saw the group in front of them. So um, now I see why they're playing so slow. I'm just going to be a little bit more patient, kind of hang out here, map out my shots a little bit more and just pace out the round. I'm not going to be in such a rush because it's frustrating to wait on golf shots and get out of your rhythm. So an important thing is just to try to find your own rhythm while you're out here. Walk a little slower to your golf ball. You know, just do those little extra things, you know? You don't, like I said, you don't want to hold up the people behind you, but you don't need to be sitting there over your golf ball thinking about the shot the whole time either. Okay, here is my scorecard. I am now on hole number 14, and it's a 501 uh, par five. I've got about 220 into the, to the hole. So I'm gonna try to get one back here and kind of make up for Okay, so I'm about to hit my second shot on hole number 14. I was wondering why I still had 220 into this five, 500 yard uh, par five, but I forgot I hit three wood off the tee. So I hit a uh, 280 yard three wood and it's actually making me feel a lot better about myself. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and hit my second shot into this par five. Hopefully get home in two, if not somewhere where I can at least just chip the ball, that'd be nice. Oh, hit that really good right at the flag. Ooh, that was good. Okay, so I'm on hole number 14, and I just hit my second shot to the green on the par five. I was going for it in two. Um, I had two, only 222 left, so it was just a green light. I pulled out my hybrid and just hit a nice solid hybrid right there from um, kind of a spotty light. The ball was a little bit above my feet, but um, yeah, I just got that on the front of the green there. So I'm really happy with that. I got about, um, I'd say about a tricky 25 footer for Eagle. Trusty. Try to just play a, about a two or three yard draw here. That's why I like the three wood. Even when I miss hit it, it still goes fairly straight. I hit that three wood actually really nicely. It didn't draw how it normally does, but it faded like about a yard or two so fairly straight golf ball off the tee uh shot shape wise and um you know that's the reason why i hit three wood a lot is because even if you miss hit it it doesn't really go right or left too much it doesn't go as far as the driver does but um it's a good way to just find the fairway so i encourage you if you're gonna hit three wood over like 240 or 250 get that thing out hit it a lot when you're out on the golf course because you know even if you're just a little shorter than normal like I said, hitting from a, a piece of grass is, is a lot easier than having to hit out of the trees. And as you can see on this golf course, there's a lot of trees out here. You know, if you don't hit the ball super straight, you could be behind one of these oak trees and they got real thick branches on them and they're real bushy trees. So you wanna try to avoid them. All right, so I'm hitting my second shot. Um, I got 172 on this par four. And this is hole number 15. It's measuring 422 yards straight into the wind. So I had a pretty decent three wood there. It wasn't my longest three wood, but right in the middle of the fairway, which is nice. And with the wind, I'm probably gonna I think add a club. So I'll probably play it about 182. I'm gonna hit just a soft six iron in there, see where it ends up. I'll hit that solid. Hopefully it's the number. Hopefully the wind catches it too. Okay. Look pretty good.
pushed it and didn't move. This place is actually really beautiful. There's a lot of wineries around here, houses with vineyards and orange trees and people that have a lot of property are out here. And the golf course is stunning. It's got a lot of oak trees and a lot of wildlife on the golf course. On the first hole I saw a little coyote and I've been seeing a lot of squirrels and chipmunks run, run around the course. Y'all good? All right, so the guys behind me just drove up on me on the on the tee shot. And we all laughed it off because they definitely messed me up a little bit, but this is what happens when you come out and you play for fun. You get people doing the same thing and they don't exactly play as seriously, seriously as you'd like to, but it's part of the deal, man. You gotta, you gotta coexist with other golfers out here and learn how to brush that little stuff off and not let it bother you. Actually got the club on that one really nice. Okay, so I'm driving up to the green on hole number 16. Um, I caught a flyer and I went over the green. You can see the green there. And once again, I don't have a lot of green to work with, so I'm gonna have to hit some sort of flop shot, which isn't the easiest thing to do. But um, we'll see what I can do. Oh, really good. Okay, I might have gone in too. All right, I just had a nice up and down on hole number 16. To keep it, my momentum going, I was able to save par there. And um, I'm even par through 16. I shot even on the front nine. And I caught you guys on the beginning of hole number 12, or excuse me, hole number 10, uh, my back nine. You can see uh, a lot of wooden bridges here on the golf course, which is a, a feature I really like. I don't know why I like it so much, but it's fun and different, unique. A lot of shade on this golf course, which is nice because it gets really hot out here. But this is a whole oh, 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 and it just went straight right there. So a couple of mysteries here on the back nine. I'm actually putting it pretty well. I'm just not seeing the lines as well as I'd like to. So here's another pro tip on the 18th hole. As you can see from the black tee, they're trying to have you lay up at about 254 yards. So they do a good job, especially on this back nine here to take the driver out of your hand and put either a wood or hybrid in your hand off the tee. I think uh, on the back nine here, I only hit um, one driver. The rest has been either woods or irons off the tee. So really good course as far as target golf goes. You gotta be a really good ball striker off the tee. But um, if you can find fairways here, the second shots are fairly easy and the greens are big, so you're gonna hit a lot of greens if you can hit the fairways. Should be a good shot. I cut that perfectly. 
ice. They iced the kicker right there on me. So I had to wait a long time on that tee shot, which is never a good thing as a golfer. It always makes you think a little bit too much. It's always nice to just go out there and pull the trigger. Anytime you're thinking too much on the golf course is never, in my opinion, a good thing. Keep it to one or two swim thoughts maximum, and you'll be fine doing that. All right, so I just hit my tee shot on 18, and I hit it a little high on the club face, so it didn't go as far as I would have liked it to go. That was really, honestly, on this back nine, my, my first miss hit. Um, other than that, really on this back nine, the only thing that's really plagued me, I would say, is just a couple of missed clubs and on the greens, a couple of misreads. So it has really nothing to do with the physical parts of the game. It's just understanding um, the slopes and the different lies on the grass. So if I can judge that a little bit better, then I should start to get some under par rounds because I've honestly been sniffing par lately. I went up to uh, Oregon recently and I just shot a couple rounds of 73. So both rounds I had one over par there. So I was happy about that. And I'm on pace right now. If I par 18, I'm gonna shoot even par here at this golf course. So another good round underneath my belt. Okay, so I'm walking up to the green of number 18, my last hole today here. And um, I just hit that shot really nice. Um, but it looked like I went over the green just a bit and I'm in the back left bunker. I haven't hit it in a single bunker yet today, but found one here on 18. So hopefully I can get this up and down. If I can save par here somehow, then I'm gonna be shooting an even par 72 today, which would be a good round for my first time out here at Cross Creek. about five feet left now. Yeah. Here we are. Hopefully we can save our pot. I was even more special because a fly landed on my ear. <laughs> I want to hit that butt. So, all good. Okay, thanks for following along with me there. I just uh, converted the par on 18 and shot a nice solid round there, a 72. Um, you guys were there to witness my back nine. I shot even par on the back nine. One bogey and uh, one birdie and the rest par, so. All in all, solid day here at Cross Creek, and uh, I'll be back soon. Thanks for tuning in.